Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 18 for learning MEM and system with Django and React JS. In our previous video, I mean 17th video, we have we have completed our user dashboard. Okay, so when we go to the uh, user dashboard, then here we have uh, some links. These are currently uh, we are working on the static pages. Currently we are purely working on React JS. So we are just uh, creating the layouts, creating the templates. So here you can see that we have dashboard my courses and I will create this dashboard layout later. So my courses, favorite courses, recommended courses, all of these are same because we will fetch just this data will change but the structure will be the same. And the profile setting we have and the change password. Okay, in the profile setting we also want to add one more field. So let's add. So, <clears throat> okay, we will add it later. Now uh, currently let's uh, complete this introduction so in this video what I'm going to what I'm going to uh, do I'm going to start the teacher panel teacher module so I'm first of all in this video I will create the teacher login and register which will be the same as user then we will uh, move to the uh, teacher dashboard okay so let's uh, now we can add we can uh, edit this profile setting uh, template okay so I will open the profile setting so I will go to the user folder so uh, please uh, uh, remember that if you if you uh, divide these modules according to the folder then this will be uh, very manageable for you okay so let's go to the uh, profile setting and here i will add so here we have now what i will do here i will simply add one more one more row and this will be uh, upload or you can say profile picture profile photo okay and this will be image or uh, you can say simple file okay so here we have a uh, profile photo okay so <clears throat> a user can upload the profile okay one more one more field we can add uh, we can add we can add here interest so what is your interest so user can add here his interest and according to the interest we will show the recommended courses okay so let's see we have this so interest according to the interest user can add comma separated interest and we will fetch the recommended courses according to the interest and according to the previously uh, previous uh, my courses selection okay now let's move on the teacher panel so first of all i will just modify this teacher panel in the header okay so let's open the header open the header and i'll similarly add this list i will copy this list and paste it in a teacher and i'll add here teacher okay so this will be teacher and here we have login register or uh, dashboard lo logout okay so this is fine this will be teacher 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 and let's create also a list this will be logout teacher logout that is student log that is a user logout now it will be teacher logout okay so i uh, here, here we also need to create that so this will be user logout okay <clears throat> so you can access this source code uh, but only the one very small uh, my request so please support me via very small donation whatever you you can afford very small donation so here you can uh, donate me by razor pay if you are from india if you are from uh, outside of india then you can also uh, pay me via paypal okay i have also created an account on patreon okay you can go to about a section and you can check the uh, uh, you can check the options that uh, what we have and according to that you can just simply support me via small donation and I will provide you the access of the code via your email ID okay so please don't forget to send me your email ID after the support okay after the donation okay so this is just small uh, thing that I want to request you okay I hope you are you can also learn from the video okay so it, if if you if you don't want to do it, then that's okay perfectly no problem okay 
so <clears throat> so here we have a, a student panel teacher panel now let's uh, we have this uh, teacher panel now in this video let's create the login and register okay and in the another in in the uh, in the upcoming video we will also see the dashboard links okay so here we have login register and dashboard so let's go to login so what we need to do first i will just simply copy this links and paste it here and i will simply say teacher login teacher register and here i will create the of course i will create the component teacher login and teacher register and i will just simply copy this and paste it here and this will be teacher and i am following the very simple way so that you can understand the things okay so teacher login and this will be teacher register okay fine now let's go to a user and i will copy this whole folder and rename it teacher okay and according to your requirement according to our requirement we will change the things so first of all we will change login and register so the name will be teacher login okay fine this is this this can be login because uh, we are in a different folder okay so this will be uh, but we name we, we should name it differently because if we name it uh, same so it will clash so uh, what i will do i will just simply say teacher login okay and i'll say just simply teacher register this is the thing okay and this will be teacher register and this will be teacher login okay fields are same okay the, no change in the fields form fields so this will be here and this will be here in the export okay rest everything will be same okay so now let's go to the browser and let's check the things so what it is saying uh, it is saying uh, cannot solve dot teacher login okay we name it uh, differently because the name uh, let's see we have login so we can name it teacher login uh oh so you can say simply teacher login and after that we can name it we have this name so teacher register okay now let's we have this teacher login okay now let's go to the login here you can see that teacher login and here we have teacher register okay in the teacher register we are loading the same thing let's go to teacher register here we are so this is teacher register e uh, full name email username password we don't uh we can say here in the register we can say for the user we are uh, we are accepting the uh, we are accepting the interest for the teacher what i will do we can say skills okay so what skills teacher has so simply skills okay so here we have here we will demand skill from if teacher is registering then we will demand skills okay so why it is not changing let's see so teacher register and i have saved the things but it is not changing let me close this and teacher register and here we have teacher and register let's open this and teacher and teacher register and skills we have label skills text area so let's go here okay now it is fine so full name email username password and skills okay for the dashboard we will do the same things but the links will be changed okay now let's uh, let's go to the teacher dashboard but what i will do i will do i will just open this thing uh, this is the dashboard i will open this dashboard okay and i will name it i will name it teacher dashboard I will name it teacher dashboard and I will just simply return the teacher dashboard and this will be teacher sidebar okay so this is teacher sidebar and because we need to create the sidebar differently okay so this will be
teacher sidebar okay now let's go to the teacher sidebar and let's see what we can do in this okay so the first thing is uh, dashboard this is my courses fine we don't need this favorite courses we don't need this recommend courses we need profile setting change password logout okay so after the my courses we can say my users who enrolled in the specific courses okay my users yeah this is fine my course is my user okay if he want to add the course then we will add here one another link add course add course okay so in the my courses we will show the list in the add course we will show the form so the teacher can add the course in the my users we will show the list of the users okay all list of the users and of course we will show the link for the all list of the user according to the course also in the my courses list okay in the upcoming videos i will create these pages also okay so here we have uh, this teacher sidebar in this uh, teacher dashboard let's rename this teacher dashboard file name okay so here i will open this uh, dashboard is name teacher dashboard teacher dashboard okay now let's open the teacher dashboard here okay everything is fine now so uh, what we have okay let's 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 divide let's uh, separate this from the user things okay let's add here teachers okay teacher login teacher register and then we have teacher dashboard we have teacher dashboard here we have okay let's add this first first register then login then teacher dashboard so now i will copy this and paste it here and name it dashboard but teacher dashboard okay i hope you are understanding all the things if you have any issue then please add in the comment section okay so we have teacher dashboard and in this we have teacher sidebar so we need this teacher sidebar not simple sidebar but teacher sidebar okay so this is teacher sidebar and what it is saying let's go to dashboard so it is showing the dashboard so here we have dashboard my course add course my users profile setting and these are the same but this will be different uh, from the users panel okay so in this video we have created the teacher login register and we have set up the dashboard uh, very easily because we have we have already created the template for the user so that we have settled this up very easily okay in the next video we will work on these pages okay and then we will work more on the landing pages and after that uh, finally we will start uh, with the api to making this uh, functional okay so i hope you are enjoying this series if you have any question or doubt please add in the comment section or you can directly email me go to the about us section and you can check all the things i have uh, given why it is not loading okay you can check it you can check this okay after the video or <coughs> or uh, whatever uh, you when whenever you have the connection of okay so why it is saying retry okay fine so uh uh, in the next video, we will work on the more layout of the teacher and then we will uh, continue to uh, creating this uh, course and uh, yeah. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any query, any question, then please add in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe this channel. Okay. And please join the membership. I will send you projects. I will send you separate projects and um, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.